What's that ringed planet in the distance? It might not be what you first thought, but JWST is continuing to tour the solar system and has released a brand new image of the ice giant Neptune. This provides the first clear image of Neptune's rings for over 30 years and also shows off Neptune's moons and even its weather in this icy portrait. JWST has already shown us our planetary neighbours Mars and Jupiter and has now released a new image of our most distant planetary friend, the icy Neptune. This image was actually taken on July 12th, 2022. That's the day that the first ever images were released from Webb. So while we were all celebrating that, the observatory was still hard at work collecting new data for us. Neptune is an ice giant planet and contains many more heavy elements than the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. While these gaseous balls are primarily made of hydrogen and helium, Neptune's signature blue hue comes from methane in its atmosphere, which is very good at absorbing red and even infrared light. That's why in visible light images like those taken by Hubble, Neptune looks a deep blue color, but here in the infrared, it looks much paler. It's not just pale because the planet is 30 times further away from the sun than the Earth, but also because all of the infrared light we would see is being absorbed by that atmosphere. The brighter spots and streaks are where there are high altitude methane ice clouds, which are able to reflect the sunlight back at us before it can be absorbed by the atmosphere. Towards the north of the planet, there are brighter areas that are a slightly different color to the clouds that feature further south. Currently, we don't know exactly what causes this, and it's one of the mysteries that Webb will investigate in the future. We can see a previously known vortex near the South Pole, and for the first time, we're seeing a band of clouds around it too. Around the equator, there is a thin line of brightness too. The leading theory is that this is a visual signature of the global atmospheric circulation that powers Neptune's incredibly strong winds and storms. These winds, by the way, can actually be faster than the speed of sound. Here, we might be seeing a glow that reveals these atmospheric behaviors. The atmosphere tends to descend and warm at the equator, meaning it glows brighter in the infrared than the cooler gases that surround the equator. Also, I think if you look carefully around the edge of the planet, there is also a hint that we can see the atmosphere, or at least extremely high clouds, above the planet. But that one is just me speculating. This near-infrared image, covering 0.6 to 5 microns, came from Webb's NERCAM instrument and shows us the clearest image of Neptune's delicate ring system since Voyager 2 flew past the planet in 1989. And actually, this is the first time we're ever seeing some of those rings. The incredible stability and resolution of the telescope mean we can see these rings even when they get very close to the planet, and we can see the bands of dust that surround the planet too. You'll probably have noticed an incredibly bright object to the top left of Neptune as well. Surprisingly, this isn't a star, but it's actually Neptune's moon Triton. This is a peculiar moon. It orbits the planet in the opposite direction to the rotation of the planet, which is unusual in itself, but it also clearly outshines Neptune. This is because while Neptune's methane atmosphere absorbs a lot of infrared light, Triton reflects about 70% of the sunlight that hits it, thanks to condensed nitrogen that covers the moon. The oddness of its orbit and coating lead us to think that Triton probably didn't form alongside Neptune's other moons, but rather started life as an object in the distant Kuiper belt, and then made its way inwards and was captured by Neptune. The incredible brightness of the moon means it comes with Webb's signature diffraction spikes, usually reserved for bright stars and active galactic nuclei. Actually, if you look carefully, you can see that Neptune also has six visible diffraction spikes, but they're much wider and fainter than those of stars or of Triton. This is because Neptune is such a big object, meaning we're really seeing the diffraction spikes from all over the planet adding up to form these larger ones. Nestled in the rings of Neptune and closer to the planet too, we can see another six of Neptune's 14 known moons, which are all named after minor water deities in Greek mythology. In this wider shot, we see the ice giant hanging out in front of a glorious background of galaxies. Play spot your favorite and let me know what the most interesting one you can find here is. An obvious highlight is this barred spiral galaxy in the bottom left, but let me know if you can find anything that you think is even better. More studies, including more images and spectra of Neptune and Triton are planned in the coming year, so rest assured that this is only the beginning for our icy friend.
This isn't even the start of the real Neptune science images to come from JWST. It's gonna keep getting cooler and cooler. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!